One of the major risk factors for both men and women being violent in an intimate relationship, uh, probably the biggest one, is growing up in a home where adults hit each other or hit children in order to deal with conflict. When children see their father hit their mother, whether it's, and also when they're growing up in a home where there's mutual violence, uh, children end up with symptoms of PTSD, oftentimes full-blown diagnosable PTSD. We know that children who are physically and or sexually abused, both by family members and non, but even worse with, with family members, we see PTSD and neuro, neurophysiological effects. And when we think about this intergenerational transmission, where we know that the children of violent parents tend to become violent as parents themselves, both to their, their own children and to each other, uh, we used to assume it was all cognitive, that they were learning to hit. And I'm sure that that is part of it. But now there's increasing evidence that part of this intergenerational transmission is through trauma. And it's probably a combination. So when we have these PTSD symptoms, especially the hypervigilance, the being ready to fight because you've learned that people come at you with hitting, so that you're ready to be attacked, that you see everything, what people do through a prism of attack, because you have to be hypervigilant, um, that may explain a great deal of why we see this continued violence in children who have grown up with, in violent homes. 